we are doing a sweaty girl approved full coverage full B makeup routine I've already posted a couple of weeks ago my everyday sweaty girl approved makeup routine so this one is when we want to fight the sweat you know we are going to an event we want to look good we want to look snatched we want that full coverage but we want it to last but we are sweaty. So <laughs> these are techniques and products that I love for this occasion. I'll link down below my lighter coverage one as well for more every day, but we're gonna, we're gonna do a look today. That's what I've decided. <laughs> so let's get into it. As you know, it is summer. The first thing that you should always do is apply your sunscreen. So I'm really excited to have Mistine sponsoring today's video. I think it's very fitting to have a sunscreen company sponsor this. So Mistine is a company that's based in Thailand where there's high humidity, high temperatures, strong UV radiation, sounds familiar to the area that I am in. And they've been in the business for over 30 years, so we're gonna start off by making sure we are sunscreen. So we're gonna start off with our facial sunscreen. I have the Mistine Aqua Base Ultra Protection SPF 50. Mistine has two different volumes available, a 40 milliliter and a 90 milliliter. I like to keep the big 90 milliliter by my skincare. So I have it always and then the 40 milliliter is great for travel or throwing in your bag when I go to the pool I'll bring the smaller one with me. So it has the perfect consistency of a sunscreen if you ask me. In the formulation there are eight botanical extracts. The consistency of it really does nourish the skin. Did you see how quickly this soaked up into my skin? This has just been really great for everyday quick sunscreen application. It doesn't leave a heavy white cast. So there's Aqua Plus technology in this making it sweat proof and water resistant which is very important for us sweaty girls so it fits the skin more tightly when it meets water so this has been a really great pre-makeup sunscreen everyday sunscreen again like I said it doesn't leave a white cast and it soaks into the skin so quickly it's very easy to apply nourishes the skin I've been enjoying this a lot you guys know I have acne prone skin it hasn't broken me out either so I've been enjoying using this last couple of weeks they also do have in case you're curious the aqua base sunscreen intensive protection lotion which is more for the body. I love this again because of the fast absorption so it's not a pain in the butt to apply. It also doesn't leave like an oily feeling as well so I've been bringing this with me to the pool also. All of their sunscreens so far I have really really enjoyed. I've definitely been putting them to the test having gone to the pool, living out in Florida, going out and walking and they have my stamp of approval so I will have the link down below to purchase the sunscreens if you're interested. I have been getting a lot of questions recently about sunscreens and SPF that I've been using. I've been enjoying these a lot. They do also have a lot of other items that they offer as well, so make sure you check them out. Thank you, Miss Teen, for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now that we are all sunscreened up and ready to go, let's get into this makeup application. So for primer, for something that's going to help our makeup last a long time, if you're oily, I would recommend using a primer made for oily skin. Because the base of my skin can be a little bit more dry and thirsty, I do like a primer that has a little bit of nourishment to it, but I don't want something that's like glowy. We're gonna sweat enough, you know what I mean? So a primer that I think is very appropriate for today is going to be the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This helps makeup last longer. It's nourishing enough, but it also doesn't make me super shiny or sweaty looking. So I think that this one is perfect and it's affordable. I did a good job with this. It looks like this. It's like a nice gel consistency. It is a great dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, except I find that the milk actually breaks me out. So this one works a little bit better for me. So this leaves a tacky consistency to the skin which is going to help makeup stick better. For days that I know that I want my makeup to last longer, I just feel like a primer like this, I feel confident in it. Now, do I know if this sticky consistency actually makes the makeup last longer? Honestly, I'm really not sure, but I feel confident that it does. <laughs> like, it makes me feel more confident that my makeup will last longer, so I use it. <laughs> now, for foundation, this is the foundation, like bulletproof 
the summer foundation when you want full coverage doesn't look too dry on the skin and it, it's just gonna last sweat mm -mm. it fights off the sweat and it wins every single time this is the estee lauder double wear foundation i mean you guys this is not a hot take i am not discovering anything new this has been a cult classic foundation for so long everybody recommends this for the situation that i'm bringing up today everybody recommends this foundation for long wear and for good reason it works for almost everybody so i'm I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge to work this out. I wear the shade 2W1 Dawn if you're curious. But yeah, this is like the best foundation in terms of long wear, events, all of that. I'm using this. It is awesome. Anytime anybody tells me they are oily and they work long shifts at work, it's this one. This is the one. Now, I'd probably recommend different products for different kind of like levels of coverage that you want, anything like that. But if you tell me you want like to wear a full glam and you want it to last you want that coverage I think that this is the best for that so I'm gonna work on blending this out I'm using a sponge to kind of make it a little bit more natural and not so cakey because we are using a lot of not drying products but products that don't add glow because that that's what's gonna last longer so I want to use a sponge to at least make it look a little bit more hydrated which it does I mean you can see how beautiful the skin look so it's not gonna budge all day it's gonna last and it looks freaking good so yeah bomb foundation all right so if you're new here this is weird but this is the way i do things here i do eyebrows next and if you're new to my channel the key to me for summer is not to use cream products which really is the trend but if you want your makeup to last you should be using powders because all of the creams if you're sweaty if you're oily if you're in a hot climate if you're outside <laughs> those creams are gonna swim all over your face and you are gonna look oily so i actually try and stay away from cream products as much as possible so i'm gonna go ahead and use my elf bite size brow palette in neutral brown i'm just gonna use the brown shades to fill in my eyebrows and you know what just in general eyebrow powders are so underrated and don't get me wrong i love a good brow pencil i use brow pencils a lot but there's something about the way that eyebrow powder looks in the eyebrows that I think looks super natural and airbrushed yes airbrushed eyebrows <laughs> but it does it makes the eyebrows look so nice I you mostly use powder on my bridal clients I might you know use the pencil for hair like strokes when their eyebrows are a little bit more on the sparse side but for that general fill of the eyebrow ooh, I just think a powder eyebrow looks so smooth and good I'm using the Sigma dream brow brush bt dubs if you're curious it's also so easy to manipulate the powders and it's so quick too my eyebrows are like already done all right now to set the brows this eyebrow gel is insane it does not matter how many beads of sweat are running down your forehead your eyebrows will stay in place if you use the patrick ta major brow lamination gel it's it's a little intense I mean, it's very intense, but for the occasion, it's perfect. So I love the powder that it comes with as well. I just feel like it separates the brows to make your eyebrows look thicker. And it's almost like a really lightweight glue because if you actually pull it out like you'll see the strings coming out it's easy to take off so don't worry about that but dang wherever you want your brows to go they will go there if you use this so it's a pretty incredible product in terms of longevity i don't use it on an everyday basis because i i think it is a bit intense for every day for myself if i want my brows to look perfect and stay perfect all day this is it and my eyebrows look really good and they are not going to go anywhere so you're welcome <laughs> okay and then next up i'm gonna go into concealer normally i would do eyeshadow but i actually just remembered what eyeshadow palette i pulled and i don't get fallout from it so we're good <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and use the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer it's one of my all-time favorites it's a good like pretty full coverage concealer it's not a dry concealer 
you don't want anything dry. It doesn't matter how sweaty you're going to get. In terms of concealer, if it's a dry concealer, it's going to look dry under your eyes. We don't want that. We want something that is fuller coverage just for the look that we know lasts a long time, that's flexible with the skin. So whatever happens, whatever movements you make with your face, it's going to go with it. Ugh, and it doesn't feel too heavy as well. This is so good. You could literally use it as foundation. I love this concealer so much and just feel like it looks so pretty does it not this is this is a really bomb concealer perfect for today's look looks so smooth on the under eyes it's not a new concealer by any means but it is still one of the best now for setting my face very very important i wanted a powder that had some oomph to it that was gonna combine with the makeup to really set it down so it has to be almost like a heavier powder you don't want a lightweight powder so i'm gonna go ahead and use the abh loose setting powder this doesn't really get talked about anymore but I like it it has that oomph that I'm looking for for longevity I also want to work on using it up because it takes up a lot of space <laughs> so I'm actually going to use a damp sponge now determining your skin type this might not be an appropriate thing to do if you're extremely dry or if you have mature skin I would suggest using a brush but if your skin can handle it this really does help with longevity I'm telling you so I don't bake. That kind of turned into baking because I accidentally had too much powder on the skin. <laughs> but I just press it in. I kind of morph it and mush it into whatever base products I'm using because this is going to make the makeup last longer. It just is. It really kind of sets it in. This is heavy, you know. I'm not going to do this for every day, but in the center of my face, where the T-zone is, underneath the eyes, right in the smile lines, all on the nose, make that powder. I'm telling you, longevity, you will thank me. This is such a good tip. And there's something about the damp sponge that really helps make it look super natural and super perfected. So this is what we're looking like. I'm not saying my face looks super duper natural by any means, but it looks really smooth and very airbrushed with this technique. So I really, really love it. I'm gonna put on a little bit of bronzer before we work on the eyes. Uh, powder bronzer, okay? I, you guys know I love, love, love cream bronzers. They're some of my favorite makeup items that have launched this year so far, but I don't want to do a cream bronzer without powder because it's going to slip and slide everywhere. I'm not putting a powder on top of a cream bronzer because we don't need the extra layers of makeup on our face. Again, the cream's gonna swim around, so we're just gonna go into the powder. So use whatever bronzer you prefer. I'm using the Tom Ford Terra bronzer. You don't need to go out and buy this. This is a very pricey bronzer, though you can get it on discount for pretty cheap at the cosmetic company store, depending on what's available at the time and what's near you. But I've seen this at the cosmetic company store for a pretty good price. It is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer, but whatever powder bronzer you have works, you don't need this one. This is such a pretty tone though. I will give it that. The tone on here, so gorgeous. So I'm gonna take my time with blending this, making sure it looks even because with powder bronzers, I'm finding I'm so in love with the look of a cream bronzer because of how natural it looks that it's starting to make powder bronzers look patchy to me. <laughs> There's something about a cream bronzer that just makes it look really one with the skin and natural. Now I give extra time to blending out powder bronzers because they just they don't look as good as cream bronzers in my opinion. Really make sure you blend that bronzer into the hairline because that's part of it sometimes why it looks patchy. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the face really quickly right now because I feel like I could use a little bit of moisture but I'm gonna use one of my longer lasting setting sprays so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is one of my favorites for long-term wear. We're going to let that dry. I'm going to do one eye first, and I'll be back to show you what eye look we're doing today. All right, for the eyes, I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more evening since I did a bright neon green look for the first summer makeup tutorial, and this is like summer evening. Mm, it is gorgeous. So we, we definitely want our eyeshadow to last, <laughs> especially if you have oily eyelids. My favorite primer is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It is a classic, and it's just so, so good. So I'm gonna use this. It's gonna look a little bit drier on my eyelid, but that is what helps the shadow stay longer. Just gonna put a little bit on. So yeah, I would say for long wear, you definitely do want to use an eye primer and not concealer because concealer will crease. 
for every day I don't mind, but if I need my makeup to really stay, I like to use a real eyeshadow primer. I'm using the sponge to kind of smooth it out. So the winner eyeshadow for today, I wanted to pull something that I haven't used in a while, and I think that the Tom Ford Honeymoon Palette is one of the most perfect summer evening palettes. Super easy to create looks with, blends itself, so... We're gonna use it. I mean, it created this look, but of course you don't need to go out and buy this. Use whatever you have. So with a Sigma Dream Fluffy Shader, I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade. This is a super simple three eyeshadow look. So I'm just gonna start off with this shade in the inner third of the eyelid, and I'm blending it up in towards like the inner corner. So it's just filling this whole area right here. We'll go back into this. With the BK Beauty A501, we're going into the middle red shade right here. And again, I'm just going to place this down right in the center of the eyelid, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a blending brush. This is a BK Beauty 201, and I'm gonna soften the edges out here. And then with that same shade, I'm taking a Morphe M507. And I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line. It's like this. Morphe M507 again, and we're going into the darkest shade. Be careful because this shade, if you're using this palette, is unexpectedly pigmented. So use a light hand. So I'm starting off by circling that in the outer corner, and then we're gonna blend it out. And then again on the outer third of the lower lash line. Take that original blending brush and then blend out the edges. And boom, like that's all. This is why a good Tom Ford shadow is so popular. It's because it is so easy and quick to create a beautiful makeup look that looks like it took longer. So Honeymoon is definitely a hit from Tom Ford and you get this gorgeous evening smoky eye. Check your local cosmetic company store. I saw some had this for $22. It's worth it for sure for that price. Um, now for eyeliner. One of the longest lasting eyeliners are going to be eyeliners that typically come in this kind of packaging. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Ink. This ain't going nowhere. Now I do find this a little harder to apply, but it is so, so good. And the trick for eyeliner for long wear for at least what I'm going to do today, I'm not going to do anything too thick because I don't want transfer if you have hooded eyes or anything like that. The less eyeliner, the better, the better it's going to wear. So all I'm going to do is kind of like a little half wing. So I'm just going to keep it out here like that. And then I'm not taking the eyeliner all the way in. We're just gonna keep it out here. I mean, I just feel like one of the worst things about summer is eyeliner running from all of the sweat, the oils on your eyelids. So in this case, this eyeliner, it's waterproof. It's not gonna go anywhere, but also just to ensure that less is more, we got the eyeliner to create the shape of the eye. Now, if you do want more of definition along the lash line, just use a dark eyeshadow and that will do you good. But I wanted to keep like the dark liquid liner to a minimum. before we get into lashes, it's time to do cheeks. So a nice, really long wearing powder blush. Again, not going to go in my spiel, but powder. I want to use, I picked two different colors, but I want to continue using the Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duos. So I chose the shade Paradise Glow. I really like these blushes because they last a really long time, even though they're powders, which can fade pretty quickly. So these are a great high quality blush that's long wearing wearing this powder. And oh my gosh, I love this shade in particular because first of all, you can see how perfect it's going to go with the makeup look, but it gives the prettiest sun-kissed kind of look. So I'm going to focus my brush in the outer part here where it's lighter, and then I'm going to let my brush touch the reddish part. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I actually want to get a little bit more of the reddish shade right here. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? This I think is my favorite color of the new Pat McGrath blushes. It's unique in my collection. I don't have a lot of blushes that look like this. I don't really have decided to consider this to be like a blush duo though because it is nearly impossible to use the two shades separately. They're gonna end up being mixed because the brush just touches both. So that's the blush. I think it looks so stunning. So Paradise Glow has been the business for me. I've been loving this shade in particular. And then for highlight, I wanted something that's a little bit glowier. 
than I would normally do for a powder highlight since my face is so, so matte because of all the base products that we use for longevity. So a really nice glowy highlight is this Jouer one in the shade Topaz. Jouer has a really beaming highlight formula. And I've been off of the super glowy highlights, but in this case, I think we need it to just bring a little bit of life back. See, that's so pretty. And then you can also just build it up as well. I'm gonna put it like here. We're faking glow, we're mimicking glow here. So I'm putting it on more places than I probably normally would. Boom. Mm. Doesn't that look so yummy? And I'm gonna do my final set of the face. This is a one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. This is also very good for like mm, getting that makeup in. And even if your face looks too matte, if you're sweaty and it's really hot, Glow will come through, I guarantee you. So let that set down. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on. I'm gonna go ahead and use falsies, but I want to use a tubing mascara because you can use waterproof or tubing so that the mascara doesn't run or smudge. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Kali Ray mascara. This is a tubing one. So I'm gonna focus it mostly on my lower lashes and just get a quick coat my upper lashes. So I think tubing mascaras are it for the summer because they're easier to take off than waterproof mascaras, but they also don't smudge. So that's super duper important in the summer. And this one surprisingly makes my lashes look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the Ardell Naked Lashes in 424. No special tricks for applying this, just do as normal. <laughs> but I definitely want lashes since we're going more dramatic today. The most long wear of long wear lips, I've talked about this so many times, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. I was like, do I want to go dramatic today or do I want to go neutral? I decided we'll just go for the gusto. Let's just go dramatic. So I'm wearing, well, I'm going to be wearing Coco Connoisseur. But obviously you don't need to go so dramatic. But these liquid lipsticks do not budge at all. They are the longest lip product in my collection. Longest wearing lip product in my collection. Ooh, that's so sultry and pretty. I'm going to pop a touch of hazelnut hypnotizer in the center to add a little bit more dimension. Wow. And this lip is gonna last like this all day. They really are the best. If you want a little bit of hydration, I did grab the Wayne Goss lip gloss in Chrysanthemum. Just grab a lip gloss, put a little bit on top. Even just a little bit, not even to add gloss, but just to make it more comfortable if you're wearing a liquid lipstick. So I'm literally just gonna put just a little bit. I'm kind of mesh it in with the liquid lipstick and that's gonna make it more comfortable. Like it didn't necessarily add too much of a glow to the lips, but now everything is just a little bit more comfortable. All right, this is a look. Give me a moment and I'll be back to see you guys out. So here is our evening, dramatic, full beat kind of look for the summer where your sweat is not gonna get into it with the makeup. And the best thing about this is as the day goes on, your makeup is going to look even better as your natural oils and your sweat comes through. It's gonna look even more natural, even more pretty. So I'm excited for you guys to give this a try. I hope you learned something new. I hope this was helpful to you. I mean, these are all products that I love and truly do stand the test of time. And again, a huge thank you to Miss Teen for sponsoring today's video. You guys know how important sunscreens are in the summer and how important it is to protect your skin over time as well when it comes to aging and all of that. So if you're on the hunt for a new sunscreen, I will have the Mistine products linked down below. They really are great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for liking it and being subscribed to my channel. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.